Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, today I'm bringing you the 2021 Skag Tiger Cat 2 uh, Zero Turn Mower. Um, this is a mower that I picked up about a week, week and a half ago. Um, I was looking at this one and the Patriot trying to make my uh, decision and I ultimately ended up with this one. So today I'm going to go over uh, some of the reasons why I chose this one over the Patriot. I'm not going to do a full featured review um, of the features of this thing. There are plenty of videos uh, online that do that. So I'm just going to, again, go over why I chose this one over the Patriot personally. Uh, my, my goal is to keep this video short, short being under 10 minutes. Um, you guys have better things to do. So that being said, I'm going to get started. So first thing is probably the um, Velocity Plus deck that's on this thing. Um, the Patriot has a hero deck. Uh, it has aluminum spindles. Um, this one has the cast iron spindles with the tapered bearings. Um, you know, they, they brag about it being almost a half inch thick, uh, three plated or half inch thick, uh, three plate steel where the spindle is. I think the hero deck has uh, two plates of steel where it is. They're both built well. Uh, all the skag mowers are built well. Um, you're not gonna go wrong as far as that goes, but again, just going over what I thought was a uh, decent enough um, feature or upgrade over the Patriot and why it, what made it made me choose this one over it. So. Um, this bar here, I uh, don't plan on hitting anything, but this bar here can actually be removed with the bolt there, bolts there, um, and be replaced without having to re-weld anything on the frame or anything like that. So if you hit something and that gets bent for some odd reason, um, that's some pretty thick steel, but um, you have the option of, of replacing that. So um, the way that the, I like the way that the um, deck height um, operates a little bit better. The top pin there that you see at the top of the screen, I know this thing's upside down, but the top pin there is one inch. It goes all the way to five inches. I'm not ever probably going to mow down to one inch, but um, the Hero, or the Patriot rather, um, has a starts at one and a half inch and goes to five inches. They're both uh, quarter inch increments. So, um, you know, that's I just like the way that this one operated a little bit better when I sat on it personally. So, um, spindle right there and one on the other side easy access to hit, change belts do all that stuff they both pretty much had this um, ability to lift up and uh, easily access what needed to be accessed for maintenance and all that stuff so um, this thing has a seat uh, for adjustment knob uh, basically uh, you put in your weight and it will adjust the seat to kind of counteract your weight to give you a little bit more of a comfortable ride um, so that if you're doing long mows, uh, you know, hours, the two, three hour mows, that might be something to consider. Um, I liked it. It was comfy. Uh, so uh, this has an accessory port, which I thought was kind of nice because sometimes my phone is not always charged. Um, going under the seat, uh, you can see the two pumps uh, with fans, two hydraulic pumps uh, with fans mounted on top of them. To keep them cool, um, you can look up the specs, but the drive motors and the, the hydraulic pumps on this were a little bit different than, or quite a bit different, I guess, than the Patriot. So uh, that upgrade, uh, that was worth an upgrade for me. Uh, the batteries in the middle and the hydraulic oil reservoir uh, is on the right there. Um, show you a little feature there if I can get it to focus. Yep. Uh, anyway, that is a selector knob for the gas tanks. So um, you can choose right or left. Um, actually, I'm not sure if the Patriot has it or not, but basically uh, that is a selector knob that allows you to choose between right and left tank. So if something contaminates, say your right tank, you can choose to use your left one, or if somebody drops diesel on it by accident or something, whatever, uh, you're able to only use a certain tank if you want to. Uh, this one has the Tiger Eye monitoring system where the uh, Patriot doesn't. Do you need it? No. Uh, it's a nice little, let's see. So uh, just kind of real-time feedback, your hours, battery, um, you know, depending on your model, um, you know, the ability to see your oil and, and air filter and all that stuff. Uh, going back to the engine, 
Um, I got the Kawasaki electronic fuel injected version of the engine for this. Uh, so they have a Kohler uh, engine and they have a Briggs and Stratton Vanguard uh, engine. Um, one of the things that I liked about the other two were that uh, there is a sensor that mounts on the air filter box and goes to the Tiger Eye and lets you know when uh, it's time to replace a filter. This engine doesn't have that. There's, I think they're working on it. I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully they release it. If they do, I'll make a video on that for you guys. Um, but until then, I guess you just have to do it the old way, uh, manual way, and check it uh, manually. So give you guys a look at the engine there on the back side view. Going back around, I'm gonna close these covers. It's gonna get loud when I put the seat down. Maybe I'm not sure. So. Um, yeah, so that being said, um, oh, one of the other big things, I guess, was kind of the clutch. Uh, the clutch is a Agora 250 pound, uh, 250 foot pound clutch. The Patriot had a 108 foot pound clutch, I believe. Um, bigger, better, not necessarily. Obviously, this is a different style type of mower, um, but I did like the fact that uh, the clutch, both clutches were... Uh, had an air gap that was adjustable so as the clutch wears you can uh, you know adjust it to bring it back within spec without having to need a clutch um, you know have to replace a clutch earlier so that's kind of nice I do like that uh, feature so they both had that uh, the adjustable um, air gap but uh, and then over here I bought the hitch kit the LED light kit and the operator control discharge chute um, I saw some videos on the hitch kit, the LED light kit, I didn't see anything specifically for this mower. Um, so I'm going to install that, show you guys that, and then the operator control discharge chute. I saw a bunch of aftermarket ones um, mounted on the uh, Tiger Cats. I saw some that were SCAG branded, um, but it was mainly people trying to modify them to get rid of the black plastic chute. Um, they were using like springs or bungee cords or whatever to try to get rid of the black chute and only use the metal plate that blocks off um, the, the discharge. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to install it the way the manufacturer says to install it. So I'll be doing that and I'll make a video on each one of those so you guys can see that. I want to keep this thing short, under 10 minutes. I think I've achieved that. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'll do my best to uh, answer them again. This is my first zero turn. First time driving this thing was down the ramp of my trailer into my garage. Uh, made it down one piece. That's a good first start. So um, if you have any questions, maybe somebody who has uh, had this mower for a little bit longer or has a, has previously had a skag can answer them. Just leave those in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if there's anything you'd want to see, just let me know and I'll try to make that happen as well. Uh, until next time, have a good one, guys.